So how can you get your own human design chart? So if you go to a website, which I love this website, you can also get it on your phone as well. Um, it's called the My Human Design app, but you can go to the website on your computer and that's myhumandesign.com and you can get your chart for free. You will need your birthday, your birth time and your birth location. location. So if you're unsure of your birth time, this is, um, this sometimes happens. So there's a few things you can do. First thing is that you can request the time from the hospital where you were born. And I've had a lot of people either call the hospital and get told straight away what their birth time is. I didn't even know that the hospital had these records until I dove into human design and I found out all this stuff. But I've had so many people just call the hospital and get their birth time. Um, sometimes they'll get you to fill out a form just to like ensure that it really is you that's asking for your birth time. Um, and then you have to email that back to them. The other thing that you can do if you don't want to do the hospital route is, or you weren't born in a hospital, is to try different times across the day to see what remains the same in your chart. Now there's going to be something. So maybe if you do do this method, just message me on Instagram or something as you're going through this process, because there's a few things in your chart that change basically minute to minute. So no matter what times you're trying across the day, that information won't be correct. But there's a lot of information that you can actually get from your chart that um, remains the same across the day. Just So if you only knew your birth location and your birth uh, date, you can actually find out a lot of the information in your human design chart. So the history of human design. So human design was founded in 1987. So it actually is not that old. It's like this new cutting edge personality tool. And it's something that is so popular at the moment, which I love because it means that more and more people are deconditioning from who they've been told to be and coming back to who their soul came here to be. And what I love about human design as a system within itself is that it brings together so many different modalities. So it brings together ancient wisdom, but also modern science. And so you've got quantum physics, genetics and biochemistry in there alongside, you know, that ancient wisdom of the Chinese I Ching and astrology and uh, Judaism, like Kabbalah and the Hindu chakra system, all of these things come together into one system. So I just find it so holistic and so amazing that you can bring so many different things together um, into one system. It's so incredible. So let's have a little bit of a look at Mia's chart. So the three keys to everyone's human design, the things, the three things that you need to know, if you take nothing else away from this call, I don't mind as long as you take these three things away. So I want you to get to know your energy type. I want you to experiment with your strategy and to start making decisions using your inner authority. And so like from my story before, you heard that my inner authority tells me to make decisions like based on that instinct quickly in the moment. So that's an example of maybe you're the same as me, maybe you're different. So for example, Mia, her type is a manifesting generator. So manifesting generators are these multi-passionate beings who are here to do and accomplish so many different things and bring so many different um, modalities together to show a new way of doing things, a way that hasn't been done before. And so I can see this so clearly. And I actually bring up Mia in so many of my human design calls because she brings together that holistic healing and she brings together like horses and the energetics of you know, the relationship and 
how you know sensitive the nature of a horse can be and using that with the holistic healing and you know you would think these are two totally different like realms totally different worlds and the way that she's able to seamlessly bring them together into something that's so unique and like this new way of doing things that is the perfect example of a manifesting generator bringing together their different passions and it's so important for manifesting generators to do what lights them up and follow the things that are exciting them and so if you're really excited and passionate about horses but you're also really excited and passionate about like holistic health then you bring these two things together and it's like you're living your dream life because you get to do all of the things that you love every day and so that is the the special formula for a manifesting generator to be so lit up by life and then we have Mia's strategy which is responding and so this will be the same for generators and manifesting generators so my intention for this call is that you actually watch it twice so I want you to watch it now like as I just go through all of this information you just kind of hear it for the first time and you know little bits start to land here or there and then now that you know how to get your chart I want you to get your chart at the end and then so you can come back and watch this again and it's going to go in so deep because if you just watch this the first time like right now there's so much information that's just like flying at you that it's like um okay I think I like kind of got that bit and yeah I kind of get that but it doesn't fully go in but if you kind of listen to this on the surface level the first time and then the second time you go through it with your chart it's going to land so deep and so if there's some things that I say that you're like, oh my gosh, it's going over my head, then that is exactly where you're meant to be. So strategy, yeah, let's get back to strategy. So strategy is, so Mia's strategy is to respond. And so responding means looking for the signs, all the different opportunities and signs that enter your orbit and when you, you notice this sign that keeps coming to you, it's about responding to that sign. And so this is so different to the way that society has conditioned us to be. This is why it's so cool to have a look at your human design chart to find out how you're actually meant to operate rather than how we've been taught to operate. The way we've been taught to operate is to go out and initiate because it's like oh I have this idea this this is a great idea and now I'm going to go and do it and you go and initiate it you go and make that thing happen you go and take action this is the way that we've been taught to do things but isn't that so different to the strategy that Mia has which is to respond so instead of just Mia having an idea and then just going out and creating it. It's waiting until she gets a sign to create something. And so that sign could be, um, she has a conversation with someone and then they say, oh, wow, Mia, you're really great at riding horses. Maybe you should hang out with horses some more. And then that would then be Mia like responding to that and then deciding to do that more. Or it might be Mia scrolling through Facebook and then she comes across this um, meditation course. And she's like, oh my gosh, this meditation course is like, this looks so exciting, so amazing. And then that's a sign for her to then move forward with that. So that's different to her just coming up with the idea. She's like, oh, I really like meditation. You know what? I'm going to go and find a meditation course and then Googling it and then finding a random course somewhere to do. And then... Um, it's not going to lead to the same outcome as if she had have waited and um, waited till something entered her orbit. And then it's going to be the right thing. It's going to be the right course, the one that she was meant to attend because, you know, there's, it was taught in a different way or there's someone that she met, she met there that led to another opportunity or, um, you know, there's, 
10 people there that also love horses and they also love meditation. They're like, oh my gosh, let's start a community. You know, you never know what it is, but when you're operating according to your human design energy type, your human design strategy and your inner authority, all of these crazy, amazing things happen that way. And you're like, oh my gosh, what is this life I'm living? It's like a dream. So that's the type and the strategy. And then the third one is the authority. So the authority is the way that you make decisions. And so for Mia, her way of making decisions that is going to be in alignment for her and always take her in the right direction. You'll notice it does not say mind. It does not say make decisions with your head. It says make decisions from your sacral. And so for Mia, it's about tapping into that gut that that sacral knowing and so the gut is another type of authority another decision making tool that knows the answer in the moment now what's interesting is not all of the inner authorities know the right answer straight away for some of the inner authorities you actually have to wait and you won't have clarity on the correct answer, what the, the best path forward is for you until a period of time has passed. And if you're a reflector, you have to wait 28 days. That's how long I'm talking about that you have to wait. But not everyone's a reflector. Reflectors are only 1% of the population. So six minutes until the moon, woo! <laughs> um, so, most people, 99% of people don't have to wait 28 days. But um, if you're a reflector, definitely send me a message because I always love to find out if there's any reflectors floating around in my orbit because I just think they're so unique and rare and amazing. So, I mean, let me know whatever type you are. I love every type, but reflectors are just so rare. So this is Mia's, this is like Mia being naked on stage right now. <laughs> this is a body graph, it's called. This is her human design chart. And this is something that I explain in my course, Human Design Basics. In that course, I go into um, what all of these shapes and lines and arrows and numbers mean, because I know that the very first time I looked at my human design chart, I was like, oh my gosh, this is overwhelming. This is so much information. I don't know what this means. And I just like exited the page. I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. But I'm so glad that I explored human design again and I went deeper into it because it has created so much magic for me and for so many other people in that ripple effect moving forward. 